This video will explain two-wire and three-wire motor control circuits, what they are, how they differ from one another, and how these differences affect the application of each. First is the two-wire circuit. It consists simply of a switch which makes, or closes, the circuit providing power to the motor. This type of circuit is known as two-wire because only two wires are required on the control side of the motor, one going into the switch and one coming out. This is the simplest form of motor control. Here is a circuit which has the same logic as the first, but which uses a control transformer and a contactor, labeled main contactor or MC, to implement that logic. The same switch now makes the circuit, providing power to the contactor coil, which closes the contacts, which in turn provide power to the motor. Now on to the three-wire circuit. The three-wire circuit has an additional coil and contact, labeled Control Relay CR. The Control Relay coil is in series with the switch, and the Control Relay contact is in parallel with the switch. The toggle switch has been replaced with a momentary push-button switch, more on that in a moment, but its function is the same. It makes the circuit, providing power to the Control Relay and main contactor coils, closing both contacts. As before, the main contactor contacts provide power to the motor. The function of the control relay becomes apparent when the push-button switch is released. While power no longer flows through the now open switch, the control relay contact provides a parallel path, and so both coils stay energized and both sets of contacts stay closed. This arrangement, whereby a relay contact provides a path to energize its own coil, is known as a latching or sealing relay, and in relay logic it is used as a form of memory. The addition of the control relay contact adds a wire to the control side of the circuit, which is why this scheme is known as a three-wire control circuit. Note that as drawn, this circuit provides no means of stopping the motor. The latching control relay will remain energized indefinitely unless a second switch is provided to break the entire circuit. When the circuit is broken, the control relay and main contactor coils lose power and their contacts open. Even if the stop switch is allowed to close again, the circuit remains de-energized. That last point forms the key difference in function between two-wire and three-wire control circuits. The two-wire control circuit, being controlled by a simple switch, will remain energized so long as there is power to the circuit. After a loss of power, either due to an external power outage or to other components in the circuit, such as an emergency stop switch or a thermal overload, the two-wire circuit will re-energize as soon as power is restored. This is useful in automated applications, where the switch is controlled by a sensor of some kind. One example would be an air compressor, where the switch would be controlled by the pressure in the tank. The three-wire control circuit, on the other hand, does not re-energize after a loss of power. This can be safer for applications where the motor is driving machinery which might cause injury if an unexpected restart occurs, for example a conveyor belt. After a loss of power, the circuit must be manually re-energized, giving the operator a chance to ensure that the area is safe before restarting the machinery.